From the oh no, what happened to my screen department, Eric writes in and sends some sad and distressing pictures. He says, I have a 46-inch Sanyo LCD that has developed a watermark of sorts. It looks like a wrinkle or shadow behind the glass. It is very annoying. Dude, I hear that. Do I need a new TV or can I fix this? Thanks, Eric from Fargo, North Dakota. Um, wow. Yeah, there's like a, it looks like the picture he showed us, it looks like a slight wrinkle in the middle of the screen. And it's a, I could see that's very annoying. Of course, if you have a flat color, like in this case, the picture shows green, and it it's makes much those more kind noticeable. Of very much so compared to if you were looking at regular video content. So if you know it's there, you'll probably be all annoyed. See it and, over and over again. Yeah. In other words, I, I don't believe yeah. you're going to be able to fix this one. Now, there's a number of reasons it could have been caused. I, I'm assuming nobody just dinged it really hard right in that one spot, right. and this is an actual wrinkle. I've verified there's no toddlers in the house. He wasn't using spray cleaners on it, which we've seen. This, like spray cleaners and rear projection televisions, can we've seen some ugliness there. Um, you were saying the brightness enhancement film? Yeah, the, all LCDs, all modern LCDs use enhancement films, films that basically are like sheets of polarizers huh. that help direct light that could be going in any direction to fire it straight out of the screen to make the picture look brighter oh, wow. when viewed from front on. And between that and the diffuser layers, these are very thin layers of material that are all sandwiched together. And it could be something like static in the factory or some other manufacturing defect that could have caused that. And Another issue could be the backlighting system as well. If the backlight's in, installed incorrectly or it's not properly tuned to the display, it could be causing heating fluctuations Ooh. within the display itself, where over time it could cause a wrinkle in the material if it's not all properly done and put together. That so, would suck. Is there a fix? I, I would try. If you had some kind of a roller, like either, that's hard to say what kind of a, I have a great screen cleaning roller mm -hmm. that, that would be ideal, just to try gently on but there. But your $300 originally designed to clean the, the fronts of $10 million printer press things? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yes, something that, that reliable. I wouldn't use like a, a lint roller that has the sticky material on it. Those things are pretty sticky. And I've actually had them grab the display. You, I was going to say, as you rip the top layer off the display. You might make it worse. So maybe so. Like, a, like, a, like a wooden roller you'd pick up in a paint shop or something like that. Something very smooth, and don't apply a lot of pressure just to see if that right. affects it at all. I have a feeling you're just going to be stuck with this. You could also try a microfiber Wrap a bit of cloth. microfiber around your thumb and try rubbing just up. Just try and down a little on massaging it. right there. Very gently, a clean microfiber so you don't scratch it or do anything worse to the display. But yeah. otherwise, I, I have a feeling this is probably either a heat related defect that mm -hmm. over time it just caused that warping in the material, or it was something. It was subtle when it was manufactured. Maybe it was a little static charge that caused the layers to just bond a little too and much, and, and it became worse over time. So Yeah, I, I got to say, I hope you can roll it out. Otherwise, it's almost always less expensive to actually buy a brand new HDTV than to repair one, especially if it's a couple years old. TV for the kids' room. TV for the kids' room. TV for the garage. There you go. TV for the garage yeah. and the kids' room. <laughs>